Hey peeps, it's Knox and my co-host Virgil. Hi. And today we're here with a Diamond Art Club unboxing. But before we get into that, I do, as usual, need to cover a few things. First things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands can make me make weird stretchy motions sometimes. It's just me trying to get pain, swelling, kinks out. I am not signaling for help. Please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household. They may not realize I'm filming, knock on the door, come in, say hi. So that would be cool if it happens. If not, no big. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm gonna have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So, today, we are unboxing. I had several that came in and I put up a uh, question on Instagram and I believe my Facebook group yes. asking who would, or not who, <laughs> which one you would like me to unbox first. This is the overwhelming response. Um, everything I put on there will eventually be unboxed on my channel. I just trying to figure out which one to do first. And I apologize in advance that I haven't posted anything in a while. I have had quite a rough depressive episode and that's made making videos just a little bit difficult. But we're here today and we're unboxing Sacred Web by Briz Bazaar. This one is a square square which you can tell from the square shape the blue color and the fact it says square <laughs> right there right there and right there this one is a 70 by 89 so wish me luck getting this all in frame when i open it and it will come with ab's so let's get into this good enough <laughs> Let's play the guessing game of can we open it today? I can, I think. I did. Yay. Well, at least the plastic part. <laughs> oh, the box may be trickier. <laughs> there you go. My stuff. <laughs> so, toolkit <laughs> has tweezers, very sharp. Don't stab yourself with them. It's not recommended to do so. I've seen people do it. Don't do it. I've done it. I do not recommend it. I've stabbed you with them on accident. <laughs> yes, you have. I do not recommend that either. Do not shake your family members. <laughs> so, Tiny Sticker has the name, the artist name, the picture, the shape of the drills, and the size, which again is 70 by 89 or 27.6 by. 35 inches. I cannot read numbers. Blue pamphlet has me running into the, the tripod. Step-by-step -step instructions and 10% off code. Cause you never have to pay full price at Diamond Art Club. Yep, it's like eating at a buffet. If you go home full, then it's your own fault. If you pay full price, it's your own fault. <laughs> you mean if you're home hungry? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so I, I, I may have problems. Has 22 colors. Also stickers. Yes, for your label, your your label. See, I can't talk today. For your containers. <laughs> Has all the other stuff that the tiny did sticker did, including a start date and end date. All right, you guys ready to see this? I'm not. <laughs> Oh, that was a real fancy unrolling. I'm very proud of myself for that. <gasps> I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, ABs, yes. Four ABs. Four. With white. Of course. 141 is Diamond Art Club's favorite AB. They must mass produce that. So this is definitely not all in frame. But I will give you a slight lift to see the top. And... Oh, my finger got in the way there. Sorry about that. And a little drop to see that it doesn't actually completely unroll because it's hitting my tripod. So this thing is huge, guys. And so gorgeous. I don't normally go for mandalas. It's not really my thing. But this one was super cool and I had to have it. <laughs> and look at these colors. Like that, that color palette is awesome. 
surprisingly no 310. Really? Is it 939? <laughs> there it is, is 939, yes. <laughs> I thought that would be 310. All right, so this is the part where we're going to show off the drills that go with this canvas. If you don't like that, there'll be a timestamp right there. You can skip ahead and just watch us struggle to figure out where the four ABs go. If you do not like the sound of the crinkling bag, I will also put a mute right there in the corner. You can mute. Don't have to listen to it when that little mute icon goes away. Feel free to join us again. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> that is a lot of drills. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That is a lot of 939. I'm taking the 939 back. Cool. I'm taking this one. There's a lot of ABs in this one. <laughs> this is your first time catching us. We always fight over who gets to show off the ABs. <laughs> but I think Virgil's going to be nice to me and also wants to count all those bags of 939. <laughs> I do. <laughs> all right. So first off, we get our 141 and a very out of focus <coughs> camera. There we go. So, if you don't know what an AB drill is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. That is that extra shiny coating you see on the top there. It kind of has that rainbow sparkle. That causes this to catch a little extra light, causes it to reflect colors off or light off the colors next to it. Just gives your uh, canvas a little extra pizzazz. We have three big bags of 141. We've got, yeah, this is tangled, two bags of 210. Then one of my favorite ABs, 136. That's mine. <laughs> I don't know that I have this in square. Mm. I have these in rounds from, from Diamond Art Club. I don't know if I've had the square or not. I don't remember. But it is so pretty. Look at that. And there's a big fat bag of that. We've got 797, 414, another 414, 3837, another 3837, 3609. 317, 993, 3814, 128. So another one of our ABs. This one's kind of a nice medium to pale pink. We got 3608, 3799, 126, our other AB. And that one's kind of that light lavender color. And 598. Now I'm going to hand you off to Virgil and his bandolier of 939. <laughs> Okay, this is going to take a while. <laughs> so long I can make some scarf out of it. You can do it. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 bags of 939. So still doesn't have to sit into the volcano beat with the th uh, 26 bags of 310, <laughs> but close. Long enough I can make a scarf out of it. <laughs> <laughs> would be a weird scarf. All right, last strand. We've got two bags of 208. And we've got three bags of 415. Two bags of 318, two bags of 992, 413, and 3607. So that's what we got for you for drills. All right. So if you uh, skipped ahead to find the ABs, welcome back. So I think the white ABs are real easy to find. Pretty much anything that looks white is, in fact, white AB. I've got <laughs> ones and twos right here. All right, so one I think is our lavender color, two is the pink. I've yet to find Threes are all in these little blue areas. Oh, uh, yeah. Like li literally everywhere there's blue, there's threes. Not just threes, but. Actually, none in these flowers down oh, here. There's. So, yeah, at the very bottom here, this actually doesn't have any. ABs, but most every place, like it's all up in the flowers right above it. I thought I saw it up here, but no, you're right. So none of the corners 
None of the corners have the three. It does have the white. But all of the background has the three, and all of the center has three. And then, yeah, these lines up here have ones and twos. Basically, if you can see white, there's going to be an AB, <laughs> it looks like. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense because there were a, there... a couple huge bags of, of the white AB in there. And there's also no white on the sticker sheet. Yeah, so this looks so pretty. This looks like a lot of fun to put together, too. And it's actually, for a mandala, got a fair amount of color blocking to it. So even though it looks a little complicated, I actually don't think it's going to be too bad. All right. Complicated symbols? Possibly. Um, we've got N and M. Okay. And E and F. Oof. Yeah, at least they're black and white letters in that one, though. And Q and G. Again, black and white letters. The N and M might be problematic, though. Yeah. Those were my main concerns. Those were the only ones I could find. I have Q and G on the canvas I was currently working on that are the same color practically, and it's driving me nuts. I mean, there's also eight and five, but those are still slightly different. Yeah, I think those would be fine. So I don't think there's really too much complication with this one, which will be nice. Eight. It's S and five and B <laughs> and eight that are the problems. Yeah. Which so. they do have S and five, but those are two completely different colors. So nice big project, funky mandala. I just thought it was really cool. Very spacey type mandala. At least it looks spacey to me. Like the, the, the background looks like sky with stars in it. So anyway, do you have anything else to add? No. Nope. All right. There's no snoop for me to boop. <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video or really anything in general with the channel, I mean, I'm sure you have comments and concerns, but I, I don't know how to handle your your day to day life stuff. I'm sorry. Anyways, questions. I'm comments. not a therapist. <laughs> questions, comments, or concerns? Please put it down in the comment section. Um, if you are not already subscribed to my channel and would like to be, make sure you hit the bell or hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell. That way you get notified anytime I put up a video. I don't work on any sort of schedule. I am an agent of chaos, fueled by the exhaustion of child rearing, multiple medical conditions and an ADHD slash autistic brain. So hit the bell, get notified. Otherwise, this is where we say bye guys. Bye.